Hello, today I show you how to use broken Photoshop action and here is some of results that you can make with this action. Ok, and firstly some recommendation for optimal use of action. Use a good quality pictures. I recommend using a photo with a resolution between 2000 pixels and 3000 pixels on one axis for the best effect. So if you use photo with too small or too big resolution, just open the photo, then go to the image, image size and change width or height value to 2000 pixels and 3000 pixels. Okay. And before your section, you need to do the steps. First step, make sure that you're using the English version of Photoshop and if you use version with another language, watch the video how to change language, the link under this video. Second step, go to image, mode and check the RGB color and add bits channel. And last step, just for CS5 and highest version, click on menu icon at the right, select panel options and check the add copy to copy slash and groups. Ok, that's all. Now how to use action. First, open your image and one more important thing, your photo need to have the background view. So if your photo have this view, you just need to select the photo, then go to the layer, new, and select background from layer. Now it's ok. The next step, open precious file. For that go to the edit, presets, preset manager, in preset type select brushes, Click load, then go to the load folder and make double click on broken brushes file. Ok, done. Next step, open action file, for that go to the window, actions, click on menu icon at the right, select load actions, go to the load folder again and make double click on broken photoshop action file. Ok, the next step, create a new layer and name it area and please don't use the caps lock. Paint on this layer the area that you need to focus so that you can use some of uh, lesser tool or quick selection tool, magic wand tool and you can use brush tool. For that image I gonna use quick selection tool. Ok, when you paint the area, open the action panel, for that go to the window, actions, find action on the action list, open it and click play. But before you click play, please make sure that the opacity and flow of brush tool is 100%. Ok, click play. Now message from Photoshop. Now you need to paint the area where you want to apply the broken effect. You can use any color, paint only on area 2 layer, 
when you will finish paint the area, please press play button on the actions panel. To continue, click stop. Okay, click stop and paint where you want to apply the broken effect. Click play. Now wait a few minutes that Photoshop make all actions speed of action work depends on the power of your computer. And I'm little scroll at this step. Okay, when action finished work, you can change the final composition. And now I show you how to make this. In final composition, we have six folders. It's background elements, your object elements, particles, globe effect, 10 color effects and color and contrast settings. Okay, let's start from background elements folder. This folder contains your original background with your object and the background without your object. Here is difference. And if you want to erase some of space of background without your object, just select the layer mask, select brush tool, black color, and select uh, hot or soft brush. And just paint where you want to erase background without your object. Black color to erase and white color to make visible. Okay, also in this folder you can add one color background. In this folder you can change the background color. And in this folder you have two light gradients. So if you want to move or scale this light gradient, just make double click and now you can move and you can scale this light effect. Okay, the next folder it's background color and contour settings. In this folder you can change brightness and contrast of your background. I recommend using uh, dark backgrounds for this broken effect. And you can change hue and saturation of the ground. Okay, the next folder it's your object elements. This folder contains main object elements folder with your object layer, corrects, and center object area. If you want to kill broken effect on your object, this layer for you. Just select the layer mask, select brush tool, but now select white color to kill this effect. Select white color and paint where you want to kill broken effect. And if you want to make visible this broken effect, just select black color and paint. Okay, and also in this folder you can change brightness and contrast of your object.
and you can change here the duration of your object. And in this folder, you can add color tone to your object. Of course, you can change the color of this color tone and the opacity of this color tone. Okay, the next folder is particles folder. This folder contains uh, two folders with particles. It's big particles and small particles. If you want to scale or move uh, some of layers with particles, just open one of these folders, select the layer with particles and move. And you can scale this layer. Same with small particles folder. And in this folder, you can change brightness and contrast of big particles. And brightness and contrast of small particles. And this folder with particles contains quick particle scala and contrast settings folder. In this folder you can change brightness and contrast of all particles. You can add color tone to particles. And you can change the saturation of these particles. If you want to erase some space of big particles or small particles, uh, just select the layer mask, select brush tool, select um, hot or soft brush and black color and just paint where you want to erase. If you want to make visible, select white color. Okay, the next folder is glue effect folder. This folder contains two glow effects. It's uh, particles glow effect and your object glow effect. In this folder, you can change the size of this effect. For that, make double click on Gaussian blue and move the slider. And you can change the color to glow effect. Same with particles glow effect. Okay, the next folder is 10 color effects. And the last folder is color and contour settings. In this folder you can change the brightness and contrast of all image. You can add color tone to all image.
you can add photo filter. You can add gradient to all image. Of course, you can change the color of gradient. Also, this folder contains shadow frame. You can change the opacity of this layer. And in this folder, you can change the hue and saturation of all image. So here is result. Now you just save. Thanks for watching and good luck.